Hello church, um, hope you are well. Just a few thoughts from my side this morning I want to share with you. First of all, I want to encourage you um, and ask you how it's been going with your time with the Lord, your devotional uh, time. Um, and I want to encourage you guys when you meet for walks or when you see each other um, for a um, coffee, let's make it normative to ask each other how we're doing. Um, and how our time with the Lord has been, and um, and also ask each other what what do you do in, with your time that you spend with the Lord? I saw Byron on the promenade yesterday, just walking down there and um, having some prayer time on the promenade. Um, so there are various ways to do this. So let's learn from each other and let's encourage each other and let's keep each other accountable also to doing that so uh, please continue to keep each other accountable um, and make sure that we make the most important thing the most important thing in our lives amen that's the first one that um oh maybe to add on to that in our rundi community we have firmly established that um we want to be what they call a um, people of agawekere nimana uh, agawekere nimana means uh, spending time with the lord and uh, we firmly established that they said we want to be a people that spend time with the Lord. We want to be a people of Agaweke Renimana. And so um, I'm uh, trusting that we would be a people of Agaweke Renimana. That's, that's a, a vision that I'd like us to take hold of and to really do. Um, the first thing. The second thing is with regards to regulations, with regards to laws, with regards to submission. Um, to authority, I want to encourage you that Romans 13 says that we should be subject to the governing authorities. And um, I've been guilty of this also because the regulations are a bit gray and somewhat disputed and this and that. Um, we uh, It creeps into our hearts that I don't agree. Um, I'm just going to ignore this. I'm just going to, you know, not really do what I'm what I'm called to. Um, by the regulations. And I want to just say from a leadership point of view, I want to tell you that's not right. That's not what we do. Um, it's, it is gray. It is, um, we're unsure about many of it, but I, I don't want us to take law into our own hands. Um, it's easy to submit when you are scared. It's easy to submit when you agree. But we call to submit when we are not scared and when we don't agree also. So um, I ask you to keep to the regulations, to try and interpret the regulations accurately um, and do your best to interpret gray areas accurately and not according to your own pleasure. Um, just, just recognize in your heart when it moves into a place of rebellion and when it moves into that place of where you take it into your own hands. Okay, Let us not do that. And then the last thing I want to encourage you and just ask you, if you'd really pray for us as elders, um, also for the rest of the show for leadership, we are having pastor summit at the moment and um, we really need to hear from the Lord for this season and the next one. Um, and I'm asking that you pray with us, please, and pray for us, please, and share with us the things that the Lord share with you. Remember to make time to pray for church because church is the body of Christ and you're spending time with Christ. So you also need to spend time with him um, regarding his body. So please let us know what the Spirit is saying to you. Um, we need to follow him um, and we need to obey him. And we are terribly excited for the next season. But we don't yet fully know what it all means. So um, please pray for us and pray with us and share with us. Thank you. Um, and thank you for really being amazing and for really being church um, in this time. We love you guys. Hope to see you soon. Level of eye.